Welcome to the setup instruction tutorial for Alcedo Anatomical IV and Phlebotomy Simulation Arm. First unbox the kit and make sure you find all the following packages and items. The IV Simulation Arm, IV Medication Administration Pack, Phlebotomy Pack, General Pack. For the setup of the simulation kit, you will be needing the following item. The Simulation Arm, IV Stand, and Reservoir Bottle with Tubes, blue absorb pad, fake blood, a cup, and a small container. Now, let's assemble the IV stand. Start by removing the plastic nut and washer from the stand. Then, connect the stand to the base or footpiece and tighten the nut firmly by hand. Adjust the height of the stand to your desired position, ensuring it's stable and ready for use. Next, let's set up the IV and prepare the fake blood. Suspend the reservoir container on the cross arm of the stand. Connect the outflow tube of the reservoir container to one of the latex tubes. Place the small plastic container under the other arm tube. Ensure that the roller clamp on the outflow tube is closed and the clip clamps on the arm are open. To prepare the fake blood, take the red food coloring powder from the general pack into a cup and pour water to mix it. Make sure the outflow roller clamp is closed one more time and add it to the reservoir container, filling it about two-thirds or three-quarters full. Once the mixture is added, open the outflow roller clamp and let the fluid flow through the tubes until all air bubbles are expelled. Afterward, close the clip clamp at the exit of the arm's tube. The arm is now ready for use in phlebotomy simulation. Make sure that both the outflow roller clamp and the connector clamp on the arm's tube are open, while the clip clamp at the exit of the arm is closed. This will ensure that fluid is controlled during practice. Congratulations! Your Alcedo Anatomical IV and Phlebotomy Simulation Arm is now fully set up and ready for simulation procedures. Practice with confidence and enhance your training experience. At the end of the training practice session, close the roller clamp and move to a basin Open all clamps and allow the fluid to drain into the basin. Flush the container and tubes with water and allow to drain and dry. Put the arm back in the provided plastic bag and replace the arm and all items into the blue bag. 